My top boss, welcome to our today's video where I'm talking about the distribution of power from the consumer unit all the way to the various power outlets or the socket in a house wiring. Take for instance, a two-bedroomed house could have several sockets and these sockets can be connected in a loop or what is simply referred to as a ring circuit. In this connection, I'll be sharing with you how that one is achieved as well as the number of MCBs that we can have in such a setup. This video will really help you because you will be able to understand the distribution of power from the consumer unit and I will also be sharing why we need several circuit breakers or miniature circuit breakers all the way from the consumer unit to serve the various sections that we will create for this house wiring. Top boost. The reason why we will be doing this is to enable you to have a clear understanding about that distribution so that you can be able to do a perfect work as an electrical technician. An electrician executing electrical installation in a house wiring may find himself committing a lot of electrical mistakes if at all he is not keen, especially in wiring distribution and even separation. An electrician must be able to do a lot in terms of research when it comes to domestic wiring so that they can ensure that all the connections are done according to the standards. Best electricians are always concerned about safety as well as the longevity of the installation that they are dealing with. My name is John and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. So glad that you could join me in this video. Kindly smash that like button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe so that you don't miss any of our content that we release. I call you Top Boss because without you, I would not be here doing what I do best. Thank you so much, my top boss. We start by naming the rooms or the places where we need the sockets. Now, my top boss, you may wonder, why not have only one MCB for all of these wiring? First of all, like I was saying, in this section here, there is room for expansion, meaning this particular section can be expanded and have an extra socket or even several sockets. Assuming that whatever is added here is a twin socket and from the twin socket, there is an appliance that draws a lot of current, then it will mean that there will be a lot of tripping involved here or a lot of overcurrent. And therefore to safeguard against that, it is only safe to have several circuit or separate the circuit so that in case in future, there is an additional socket that is included in that circuit, it will still be safe to operate. So we have 20 ampere for that. And for this setup, why is it that we have so many sockets and we have not separated the circuit, for instance, at this point? Now, that one can be another option if you want. But for me, I think in the bedroom, there is less consumption of power, whereby you'll find that there is only the need to charge a phone or connect a music or a sound system, which in this day and age can only draw a very low current. So that is why the two bedroom outlets have been looped together. When it comes to the sitting room, the same is seen to be happening where you might be having a TV or a sound system or a need to charge a phone or a laptop. All of these are gadgets or appliances that don't draw a lot of current from the consumer unit or from the devices that we have in the consumer unit such as the MCB. And that is why I have decided to loop all of those sockets together. For instance, in the sitting room, you may not be expecting anything that is heating or a heater that consumes a lot of power, the same as the bedroom. And if you will have it, you'll probably have it in one socket outlet. And that is why I have it here being supplied by only one MCB. 
Now, when we get to the kitchen, the reason why I use a 32 ampere for this is because, again, like I said, in the kitchen, we expect to have appliances that draw a lot of current. And therefore, having a 20 MCB for all the sockets in the kitchen is not practical because if all of these are connected at the same time, for instance, we have the refrigerator, the deep freezer, and the microwave if you have interconnected all the sockets in that home together and you are using these appliances which draw a lot of current it means that that circuit breaker will keep tripping and therefore that installation is not ideal for that customer or the user and that is why the kitchen sockets even though they may be two have been dedicated to only one MCB, which again is a 32 ampere MCB. Because I'm assuming that all these appliances which draw a lot of current have been connected at the same time. Therefore, it means that it will still be able to hold or withstand the current drawn at that time. The ring circuit is as simple as this. You have this as a single socket outlet and this as a twin socket outlet. Now the thing is, you will feed one, either you feed this one, and then from here you distribute the cables or the wires to this particular socket outlet. Or you may have the feed or the incoming cables fed to the twin outlet here, and then from here you supply the cables to this outlet here. So that one is basically a loop or a ring circuit and definitely at the point where you will have to fix or to fit the fixtures these two sockets the twin socket and the single socket that is what you will also do the cables from this twin socket will be fed to the cables on this single socket whereby you have the face interconnected the neutral connected as well as the earth connection and once those are interconnected now you connect the feed or the supply there is a phenomenon that is referred to as a back entry where we have the wall and then we have this socket on this uh, room and the socket on the same room where they can be at the same position but in different rooms so that we have a back entry and therefore the cables will be shortened the cable interconnecting the two will be shortened that is in a connection referred to as a back entry but it is still a loop connection so assuming that this is the wall and we have socket one and socket two so this could be the sitting room and this could be the bedroom right and uh, this is the sitting room for instance so you'll find that this loop connection is actually very short where we have the bedroom one and the sitting room which are only separated by a wall that is what we refer to as a back entry setup still a loop connection or still a ring circuit yeah so this is a back entry and uh, this is just separated by a wall all right now, at this particular point, I hope you have found value and I know that if at all you have any question, kindly feel free to ask me. Now, my top boss, I hope that you have found value in our today's video and if you have, then give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you may get more information about this type of content which is electrical installation thank you so much for watching my name is john and this is top heights electricals and electricians see you in the next video goodbye for now my top boss or it is referred to as what is this dang why am i forgetting it is a loop or it is definitely ring circuit and that is so this type of connection where you have